What's up guys? It's July 11th and I'm going to do a hang and scout. It's a, it's a third night of a red moon. We got, tomorrow will be the last night that we have a red moon. And Chuck and I went out last night scouting and we just did some driving around glass and fields and we saw a ton of bucks. We saw a deer moving like two hours before the sunset. So I figured I this is an opportunity I need to take advantage of. And um, I'm going out on a piece tonight that Chuck and I scouted on foot. And we actually, in the middle of the day, uh, walked walked up on a buck that was like got out of its bed and it was like 50 yards from us and uh, it was a big buck and we also saw in the field before we saw the big buck we saw a bunch of bucks out there too so um, just gonna get way up in the tree tonight and glass hopefully find a spot where I can glass over these two bean fields but if not I'm just gonna look over the bigger bean field but we'll see I don't got far to go in there access is pretty easy for where I want to go tonight try to figure something out for hunting wise but um I'm excited um the spots I, I think I'm gonna see some bugs tonight I'm alone tonight Chuck is covered in poison ivy he's still battling the poison ivy so I don't blame him I got a little bit on my arm I don't know if you can see it but I don't really care I'm just hoping that I don't remember how how wide that hedgerow is because I'm hoping there's a tree I can get in where I can see both fields. That would be ideal. If not, like I said, I'm just going to look over the big field. spotted two really good bugs. This wider one, I think is the one Chuck and I seen here. The other one, I filmed crossing the river. I don't know what buck that is, but he's nice. Well, this one's a lot bigger. He's got a lot of junk going on. This big buck coming right towards me. I got like four little bucks 
property here in central Wisconsin. Um, tonight we're doing some velvet scouting. We're pretty much sitting right on our property line, right in the ditch. We're overlooking the neighbor's bean field. Um, they've got a ton of beans planted here. Hasn't been beans probably in two or three years, so it's kind of nice to be able to get out here and, and do some velvet scouting. We've got a we've got a pretty good buck. He's real wide. He's got a split G2. Um, I think he's an 11 with that split. He might actually have another one on his brow, but he's been kind of all over our cameras and really hoping to lay eyes on him tonight, but hopefully we get some action for you. Saw a ton of deer, just not many bucks. Tell we still got a, a doe problem in this area, but I think we saw two little spiker porkies, and then uh, a decent maybe 14 inch, 15 inch eight, and then there was a bigger eight that ended up coming out right at last light here. That I don't have pictures of yet either, so he's probably right on the on the borderline of a shooter, but uh, you know, overall pretty good night. We're gonna get out of here and go get some grub. Chuck and I are gonna go move some cameras tonight and do some scouting after the rain stops. Chuck's leaving me. We go. Just drop Ricky at a piece of public he's gonna hike way into, probably like a mile and a half into, and put a camera up. He picked like the wettest day he could, but luckily his is on higher ground. And now I'm driving over to a different piece in this area where I have a regular camera. I'm gonna pull it down and put a, a Moultrie. Pulling up Onyx. All the way around it. I have no idea where I'm gonna put the camera. Chuck and I made a pit stop. We we're low on gas, and uh, Got we're out. Casey's pitch, huh? Out scout now. We just seen our first bucks, some goofy bucks. Right there, buck. Nice three and a half or two and a half.
cool. There might be more. Cool. Oh yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. It's not a bad buck on the edge of the corn. Got him? No, I don't have focus. Should be more deer right here. Oh yeah, there's some out to the left too. I don't even see a buck. All those. Here, look at these ones. One of these might be. I had my hay bale. Those are those ones, the first ones we filmed. That buck, that might be a cool shot there. August 3rd today here we're headed down south we're gonna do some velvet scouting again here tonight um, we went out a couple nights ago me and Chuck on a private piece I can hunt and it was kind of unproductive didn't see much just one doe uh, but we're gonna try somewhere new tonight we're actually going down to a, a piece of public um, that I hunted a couple years ago uh, these guys haven't been down there yet so I'm gonna kind of take them down there and show them the area and hopefully give them maybe a couple more options for hunting this fall. But we're gonna be there in probably a half hour. Um, and kind of how things are gonna set up tonight. Uh, so if there's three of us here, um, myself and Chuck are gonna go watch one bean field. And then Ross is gonna split off from us. There's another bean field probably like 200, 250 yards away from us. And he's gonna go observe that one. Um, they're kind of in two opposite directions, so we should be watching two different groups of deer.
just gotta set up in this ditch and watch this field for the night. They're going, like, it, like he said, we're just gonna be about 250 yards apart. Small bucks.
Skunked. What? Yeah. You're lying. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Yeah. What'd you see? You see a big one? Giant. Nah. -uh. Yeah, like 180s. Seriously? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. So we seen we seen some decent bucks, but nothing super big. Yeah. I didn't see like crap for big bucks. There's just a ton of little bucks. Yeah. I seen 17 deer. 